going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here in the winning dressing room with Felix Cash. Felix, you dusted off the cobwebs tonight. How'd you feel? Yeah, first of all, it feels good, man. Got the win's the main thing. It was a very rusty, mediocre performance by me today. But uh, listen, got the job done. Been, uh, been in the gym all year. Um, I just think I just went flat, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, just just need a bit of, bit of a break, uh, freshen back up and... Uh, We'll get, we'll get a big fighting match. This was your first time out since February. It was such an entertaining thriller, wasn't it, in February? Yeah, and then yeah. you had your injury. What did you make of your opponent tonight? And what, what did you make of those scorecards? Because they, they were a bit close, weren't they? It's ridiculous. What do you think? I think it was ridiculous, to be honest. I thought I won every round. But anyway, to get, as long as the white right, right hand gets raised is the main thing. I fuck the scorecards. But uh, I think everyone, everyone can see and watch it. Uh, you know, I won, won every round. But... Uh, it's in, uh, got the job done. He was tough, but um, I just, I was just flat tonight. Do you think that's a testament to your talent? The fact that you said yourself that you were flat, but you still think you won every round. Yeah, listen, he, listen. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say he was no, he's no killer, was he? But uh, listen, he was very tough. Uh, he took, he took, took some big punches. But uh, like you said, I got the rounds in, got the, got the eight rounds in, got the cobwebs off, and uh, and we go again. One hundred percent. And then after the fight. Ammo Williams gets involved on the design broadcast. There was a couple of words between you. What do you make of that? Is that all just to sell the fight? Listen, he's just a clown, isn't he? But uh, he's just going to get himself out him. So, well, listen, um, he's come over, fair play to him. Listen, he wants to make the fight and obviously sell the fight. But uh, listen, once he gets in the ring with me, mate, and I'm, I'm 100%, he's, uh, he's going to be in the shock, for, the shock of his life. So this is going to be a full camp, a f- final eliminator for WBA, I think it is. WBA, yeah, WBA. I think we're going to do a double a, um, the, the eliminator, final eliminator for the WBA, the WBA title, yeah. And if there was rumours that the contract had already been signed. I don't think it has been. I think that you're going to go through it this week with Tony and get it done next yeah. week. Yeah, I'm going to get it done next week. I've obviously, I've got the European title, title too there. So I'm going to go with Teddy. We'll sit down ready next next week and uh, we'll uh, we'll make the decision and uh, get the deal set up and... Uh, We'll see which one we which one we go for. Have you seen much of Ammo? What do you think of him? Listen, he's a good tidy boxer, you know, Southpaw boxer. Listen, he's uh, he I, I I just reckon I, I just believe I'll knock him out. In your opinion, do you think this fight comes to the UK or are you willing to travel over to the US? Listen, I'll fight anyone anywhere uh, if it makes sense and uh, the money's right. I'll, I'll, I'll fight anyone anywhere. No matter if I fight, fight him in, I'll fight him in the change rooms, uh, <laughs> if the money's right, it don't make a difference. But uh. Listen, uh, I think I've heard that it's meant to be in the UK if the fight happens. Well, if it's in America, it's in America. Do you think, believe that that headline's its own show? I believe it should do, yeah. yeah. I think it should, uh, should headline because uh, I think it'd be interesting. And you've got a slight cut above your eye. Do you think that could kind of push back the fight or is no, it all good? Match. That's a couple of weeks. So I need a couple of weeks off anyway. I've been in the gym, been in the gym all year, I'm a bit flat, so I need a couple, a couple of weeks off uh, to uh, recharge the batteries and... Uh, We'll get, we'll get back in the gym, uh, you know, uh, t- t- just before the new year. So I'll start training again and uh, have a couple of weeks off from now. And then um, we'll get to fight, up, fight, fight off a match. Last one. I spoke to Ammo last night in the hotel and he had a few words to say about you and Tony and the rest of the stable. He kind of threatened all of you. And just well, a fret- word on that. He's threatening who? What's he going to do? He's, 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 listen, he's an absolute clown. Who the fuck's he? Who's he? Who's he? What's he going to do with anyone? Uh, he's just uh, he's just an absolute clown. He's uh, and he's setting them up for, for for to get knocked out. Felix, thank you very much for talking to IFL. Uh, best of luck getting that fight signed, and hopefully we see it next year. All right, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Felix. Appreciate it, mate. <laughs> I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.